Hi guys, it's Elisa. Today I will share with you a delicious and savory spear rib soup with young tamarind leaf, serrano peppers, and fuzzy squash. In Cambodian, we call it Samlama Chukrung Jamoy Slak Ampal. This soup is my all time favorite, and I normally make it about one to three times a month. And it's also one of my signature dish. So let's not waste time and let's get started. Okay, first we want to pick the young tamarind leaf by only taking the tender parts. And once you pick all the tender parts, we're going to give it a, a good clean under cold water. So that's the first thing you want to do. And then after you finish cleaning your tamarind leaf, next you want to start by cleaning your fuzzy squash. Um, you would need about one and a half pound of the fuzzy squash. You just use a pillar and peel the skin and then cut it um, in half. And then after that, I cut in uh, four section uh, and then another uh, section. So you want to cut big side. When you cut big side, it will hold its texture when it cook with the soup. And then next, you're going to clean your serrano pepper. Um, I just remove the stem and I do not cut it. I just cook them whole like that because if you cut it, your soup is going to be spicy. But if you want it to be spicy, go for it. And then here I am cutting the pork ribs. Um, you want to use a big uh, butcher knife and just give it a strong one time whack. So maybe. Um, one or two depending on how strong you um, cut it you know, be careful with your finger too because I heard story uh, some people cut off the finger so yeah be careful and then well you see you see extra meat like that you know just cut it into small pieces there you go yeah put it in the bowl. and once you finish cutting all your meat then we are ready to cook the samlam jukrung or you want to call it soup whatever you want to call it so start with uh, about four tablespoons of oil and you want your pot to be hot and then once it's getting hot you can see the smoke or the steam or whatever you want to call it and then you can add in your curry paste i use one cup of curry paste and um if you want to learn how to make the curry paste you can check my video playlist or um, you can also search other people's uh, channel to see they can make um, outdoor food. So basically, this is the Cambodian um, essential ingredients for all cooking, or well, not for all cooking, for most of the time. Cooking. Okay, so once you grung. Um, give it a good stir for about maybe uh, two minutes or so because so it'll release a nice aroma of the krung then add in your um, pork ribs there you go and then you're gonna stir fry this you're gonna cook this until it's become like you know, crispy on the edge Okay, continue to stir fry this and oh yeah, don't forget to turn on your fan um, so your whole house doesn't smell like um, chakrung. Yeah, this is my favorite soup like I said before earlier. I make about one to three times uh, in a month depending on my mood. If I want to cook or make dinner or so, this is my kid's favorite request. Um, they love it. They really don't really care about the pepper or the veggie. They only care about the meat. Yes. Most kids, well, I don't know about most kids, but my kids, um, they like the meat. Okay, yeah. Then uh, don't forget to add this, uh, your seasoning. I, earlier, I added some fish sauce. And then next, I'm going to add in the prahok. Yes. You need prahok for this law. Uh, soup and if you're not a big fan of prahok you could eliminate it and add in um, a little bit more salt maybe about a tablespoon of salt 
And okay, here I'm adding some chicken soup mix to uh, give it a nice uh, flavor. Um, Okay, so here I'm gonna add one package of a tamarind soup mix. You can use any kind, but um, if you like to give it a good taste, a uh, delicious soup, use the brand that I uh, show you. I'm not advertising for this brand, but so far this is the only brand that I see that tastes good to me. Okay, so now we put all the seasoning. Now we're going to just mix it up, toss it up. Oh, I guess I need to add a little bit of salt here. Yes, add a little bit of salt to give it a sharp taste, more flavor to your, you know, your meat. Oh, look at that. Oh, so good. Okay, so when your meat is cooked, now we add in the serrano uh, peppers and then the fuzzy squash. And then last, add in the young tamarind leaf. Yes. This is very fresh. I'm so happy that they sell them. And if you ask me where I get them, if you live in Stockton, I got these from Super King. Yes, Super King, the one on El Dorado. And I don't think they have it all the time. They only have them if they're in season or once in a blue moon, you, you will see it. So if you don't have the fresh tamarind leaf, you can use the one in the jar. Um, it tastes about the same, not quite the same, but um, it tastes similar. <laughs> so, yeah, you'll find out when you when you cook the fresh one and the one in the jar. But I prefer the fresh one; it tastes better. Um, but if you don't have it, like I said, you can use one in the jar. It will work. And once you add in the tamarind leaf, you give it a good mix, then add in the water. You want to pour the water just to cover the meat and the veggies. You don't want to overload with water because then your soup will taste watery and that does not taste good. Okay. Okay, so we're almost done. Just be a little bit more patient. If you want good soup, you got to be patient. Okay, so now once the soup comes to a boil, like the one here in my video, see all that bubbling? Yes. And you're going to cook this until your vegetable uh, become tender. How do you tell when it becomes tender? You can use a fork and poke through it and it's what go through and it's soft. Yes. That's when you know your soup is cooked. And once it's cooked, turn off the stove. Uh, let it sit uh, settle for maybe two minutes or so or if you can't wait you can just scoop it up and serve it this go well with steamed rice okay so now my video has come to an end thank you for watching I truly appreciate all my viewers who have support um, support my video and um, and thank you for being patient with me. I know I haven't post video um, lately um, due to my full-time job and plus my new baby. But um, I will continue to um, do the video, more video when I have a chance because of you guys who always support and uh, like my channel. Okay, that's enough of my talking. So I'll um, catch you guys um, next time on the next video. Okay, take care and see you later. Bye-bye.